Today we're here at the Phantom Battleground, the Battle of Coletto Creek on March 20th, 1836. Join me as we walk through Texas history. Today in this windy area, we're here at the Fannin Battleground. It took place in March 20th, 1836. There's the monument in front of us. There's a pavilion to the side. And there's a few historical markers and plaques we'll go around and look at. But this is where Fannin and his men lost the Battle of Coletto Creek and surrendered, only to be taken to Goliad and massacred there. Let's take a closer look inside. Here's a great view of the pavilion and the monument. It's just a great view here. It's not a very big park or battleground, but it's uh, it's pretty neat. It's just right off 59, not very far. Right when you enter the monument and the battleground, there's this. This gin horse power screw plate was placed here in 1894. It's in the shape of a star in the middle. And there's the screw. Kind of cool. It shows you right here. They put it there to keep the uh, memory alive. And there's a good representation of the battle. So the Mexicans were all around and the Texans were literally where we are in the middle here. Not very big and Mexicans were all around either side. Remember the Alamo, remember Goliad. Shows you a little bit about the uh, bloody arm flag designed by the Goliad garrison. Captain Philip Dimmitt. The Phantom Memorial Monument in Goliad as well. Shows you when they were found, their remains were found. Santa Anna and Fannin. Here's these great gates that lead to the flagpole here. And these grounds were donated in 1914 by H.P. Hanley, it says right there on the back. And the flag is right above us. A site for the people, historical markers and memorials. Tells you when they were put here and kind of how this place was designed. I like that these iron gates are really real similar to the ones in, in Austin at the Capitol. And the photograph of Governor Ferguson in 1916 on March 8th, 80 years after the uh, Battle of Coletto Creek. Get a little closer look at those gates. Very cool. Here's a great view of the monument up close. I'll get really close to, to see what it says. Just want to show you this. It's hard to read, but it's in memory of James Walker Fannin Jr. and his fellow patriots who surrender here on honorable terms on March 20th, 1836, involved the sacrifice of their lives at La Bahia. Victims of the Treachery's brutal stroke, they died to break their tyrants on fame's eternal camping ground. Their silent tents are spread in glory guards with hallowed ground. 
the behoof of these dead. Actually, I think I mispronounced that last little bit. Just wanted to show you that up close. Yeah, the battle definitely on March in March of 1836. So they were surrounded. They didn't know what to do. Their best option was to surrender, and unfortunately, Santa Ana was just taking no prisoners. Here's the front of the monument. It shows a man loading the cannon, the swords. And this side has a Texas flag on it. Here's the sign for the picnic grounds that were here originally. And the building we're about to go into is actually the gazebo that was there originally. It's got an exhibit inside. Inside now, got a great echo in here. The defeat that led to the victory of the Battle of Coletto Creek. Behind me is the map when they discovered some history here. Kind of shows you where everything is. The probable Texan position which was right at the entrance of the monument where we drove into. We discovered a bunch of artifacts. Here's a great exhibit right here, of the actual battlefield. The Mexican army surrounding the Texans there. It's a great exposition to show you exactly what, what went on. Here's a good long out drawn thing here. Remember the Goliad? Remember Goliad, the lost battle that inspired the victory? There's James Walker fan in there. And the execution of Fanning. And the last later picture right here. Get a closer look at a few things and we'll head out. Here's what the Mexicans would have used their sword, the uniform ornament, the caliber balls, the Four pound cannonball in their buckle. Here's the Texans, they had a six pound cannon and their Kentucky rifle balls, their flintlock pistols. Here's a great view of the monument in the middle from on top of the uh, exhibit here. This pavilion that's right beside me, I'll photo it or video it here in just a second, was built for the Centennial. And it's a nice little pavilion. You've got a great little area here if you want to have a picnic or whatnot with your family. Here's the pavilion I was talking about. Nice and covered. There's the exhibit hall. And up on top is the opening. You can stand up there and look around and behind the restrooms. Here's the historical marker for the Battle of Caledo Creek and Goliad Massacre. And right beside it is a little plaque. It talks about people making this as a park, community and site use. Here now in front of the final resting place of Colonel Fannin 
and his men. The monument behind the Texas historical marker here. There's also the flagpole with some cannons, replicas of theirs, and their flag, as well as the Texas flag. We'll get a closer look at the monument and a closer look at this historical marker before we end our video today. Here's the historical marker, and it talks about Battle of Coletto Creek, as we just discussed. And Colonel Walker and his men were, were marched here and then murdered by Santa Ana. And then it talks about General Rusk and what he did for the men and gave them the, the proper respect they deserve in June of 1836 and buried their, them here with their final resting spot. We get a closer look now at the monument, and there's the uh, cemetery just to my left. We're not going to go in the cemetery, but I'll just kind of pan to it real quickly. And there's the cemetery, like I said. Still active, but it's right beside the monument. Here's a closer look at the monument. Before I get right up on it, I wanted to show you the last little bit here. We'll head up there now. And here's the monument for Fannin and his men. The names of each and every soldier engraved here. This is their final resting place. And there's the plaque where we dedicated this monument in 1938. Actually part of the Centennial program. That'll do it today, folks. We end our tour here today in Goliad at the final resting spot for Fannin and his men. Hope you enjoyed it, and until next time.